Claire, get your stuff. We gotta go. Dad? Jesus. Dad, what did you do? Go get your things. Arturo's waiting. this nanomatter? I think so. Though I can't imagine what would cause it to spread like this. At least it doesn't seem to be dangerous. Not dangerous. I'm surrounded by dead bodies. They must have disabled it somehow. Otherwise, you'd be dead. Yeah, and something tells me my suit isn't going to offer much protection. If their elevators explode like this, I can see why they're always down for maintenance. The elevator didn't explode. Someone must have detonated a bomb. Door's not responding. Probably has something to do with those damaged energy canisters over there. Try turning on the energy view on your suit and see if there's an alternate source of power. Of this scientist. I think she's the one who first harnessed nanomatter. Can I remove this stuff somehow? Hmm, maybe. Grab a sample with the hypo spray and we'll do an analysis. Okay, here goes. This good? Yes, and check that into the vat over there and we'll be able to check it out. Perfect. Now, as you know, I'm an AI and I shouldn't touch nanomatter because it's a threat to human existence, blah blah blah. So, I just need you to sequence the structure so I can get in there. Go ahead and bring up the sequencing interface.
finished. Oh, goody. Just let me take a look here. And... My... God! I just... I... I can't believe it! What? What does it do? I have no idea! So... It's okay. We don't need to know what it does. With the sequence alone, you should be able to safely store it in a nanocore. There's a nanocore in that small chamber over there. I'll go get it. Can't open the chamber. It has no power. Maybe I can redirect energy using that same transformer panel I used to open the door. the nano core. How do I get the nanomatter inside? We'll configure your Kedion transmitter to match its output matrix to the nanomatter sequence. Then open a conveyance socket to the nano core's storage buffer, ensuring to defragment the reference cache to minimize interference. I've already written a cluster transverse replication assembly to encode the transceiver array. So the transmitter, what part do I do? What's that? Oh, right. You have to do some of this because my security protocols that are in place prevent me from completing the entire task myself. So, uh, here. You can assign the reception valence to the quantum sectors on the Polaron grid. Wait, what? Just make sure you don't put the same reception valence into adjacent quantum sectors or the Polaron grid will explode. Here you go. Okay, all configured. No explosions. Well done, Fleshling! Utilize your ambulatory meat body to activate the transmitter, dispersing Kedions into the precious nanomatter. Hang on, Arturo. You've been acting a bit weird. What? No. Me normal. Me normal! Yeah, that's not helping. I can't check your security protocols from here, but I'm going to issue an emergency reboot just in case something's wrong. No problem. No problem wouldn't bother me at all, because everything's fine. But if you just... There. Feel better? Woo! Feeling great. Always have. What were we doing again? 
Moving the nanomatter from that door using the modified Ketion transmitter. Removing the Wetsit from the Who now using the Wetsala hump? Don't worry about it. Glad to see you're back to normal again. Looks like it worked. Can we use this stuff for anything? Uh, I don't know. It looks pretty creepy. Yeah, let's get out of here. It's... it's in here somewhere. I'll see what I can find. Right? No, but the painkiller is starting to work. What happened here? Nanomatter containment leak went straight through our suits. We've deactivated most of it, but it's still not safe out there. You need to finish the job. Containment leak? What have you built here? It's supposed to be medicine. AI-controlled nanomatter that melds with organic tissue. Revolutionary. But... Something went wrong. If you make contact with it, well, you've seen the bodies. Some medicine. Please, you have to help deactivate it. The rest of the facility has been evacuated, but it's wiped out everyone in the lab. So it just burst out of some containment field? How did it get loose? The containment field abruptly deactivated, along with the backup units. The nanomatter then started to target the research team, killing us one by one. We have a few nanoguns in the lab, but when we went to retrieve them, they were all missing. Clearly, this was sabotage. Who would do that? I don't know. It's madness. How did you manage to survive? Truthfully, I don't think I will. I was hit with some nanomatter, which I quickly deactivated, but the damage had already been done. Pinkler helps, but I can barely move. Who built this place? Who do you work for? It's funded by Eltara, of course. Who else? But the nanomatter tech is really Dr. Robert's invention. He's the head of this facility and a brilliant scientist, if a bit unorthodox. Sounds like he got you all killed. It's dangerous work, and we all took the necessary precautions. We just all wanted the project to succeed so badly. Maybe in the end, we overlooked a few things. How come no one has come back to help? Protocol. If the nanomatter is allowed to spread, it could create a worldwide disaster. The nanomatter is aggressive, but not exploratory. If there are no humans to target, it just sits there. I don't think any has managed to leave the lab, but the evacuees don't know that. They're waiting for a signal to return, but if they don't get one, Protocol is to nuke the whole facility from orbit. Listen, I'm just here to find my daughter. We crash-landed on this planet, and someone brought her here. She was severely injured. Do you know where she is? No. I haven't heard anything about that. Then again, I've been in the lab all day. She might have been evacuated with the others, but if not, she'll be in the infirmary on the top floor. 
But you won't be able to get out of the lab. This whole floor's been sealed off. And that nanomatter is still out there. I've managed to modify this transmitter. It seems to be able to deactivate the nanomatter. Good work. But that nanomatter is going to move after you fast. You'll need to contain it somehow. I was thinking you could lure it into the... Hey, where did you find that nanogun? How has it all gone missing? It's mine. What kind of civilian owns a nanogun? I have a very... unique job. Well, if you're here to help, it doesn't matter. Can it generate a stasis field? Uh, sort of. I can pull or push nanomatter from a flat wall. <laughs> well, it'll have to do. Try to trap the nanomatter. Once it's contained, you can use the transmitter to deactivate it. All right. Hang on, John. If there's any active blobs of nanomatter out there, you'll need to use that nanocore again to contain it. We can empty the nanocore into the vat we found back there. Okay, good. Now, the trouble is, if the active nanomatter is moving, you have no way to trap it. Won't the nanogun work? I could use the repulsor beam. It, technically, yes, but I don't see how you could configure the nanogun to interact with it. What about the configuration we did to the Ketion transmitter? What did we do to the Ketion transmitter? Something about matching the output matrix of the transmitter to the nanomatter sequence. You sequenced the nanomatter and matched the output matrix? How did you manage to do that? I didn't do much. You did most of it. What? Let me take a look here. Hey, you're right. Well, look at this code I wrote. I'm <laughs> incredible. Well, this will totally work. Oh, hang on. There's a note here. It says you have to assign the reception valence to the quantum sectors on the Polaron grid? I don't know what that means. Do you? Not really, but I did it before. Pull up the interface. Righto, boss! All done. Awesome! This code I wrote is amazing! Boy, I know I'm smart, but I did not know that I wasn't that smart. Turo, seems like you've had some sort of memory corruption. Any chance that Daisy somehow compromised your system? Oh, she's compromised my system, all right. Ah, uh, I don't mean, uh, that. I mean, did she bypass your security protocols? Oh, she's bypassed my security protocols, all right. Turo... Okay, okay. Don't worry about me. I'm as fine as a benign swine. You seem, uh, mostly okay now. Just keep your guard up, alright? 
guard is up like a pop in a cup. Uh, yeah. Let's go take out that nanomatter. God damn. Nice work. Now let's get out of here. This door's been welded shut. Looking at the facility schematic, that generator connects both of the lab rooms. You should be able to crawl through. You want me to crawl through a generator? Well, not while it's running. I'll see if I can shut it off. Okay, looks like I can shut this off. Let's give it a shot. Cannot deactivate generator while nanomatter is present in containment room. Any Judging from the schematic, there are nanomatter containment vats in the other lab room. Turning off the generator would probably risk releasing the nanomatter. It says here I can run a baryon sweep. Maybe that does something? Baryon sweep set to automatically engage if nanomatter particles are detected in the generator interior. I guess if we manage to get some nanomatter to sounds from. Let's see if I can just open it while it's running. Opening active generator requires safety override code. We have a safety override code, don't we? From the generator in the cavern? Oh, that other code won't work here. It wouldn't be very safe if you could use one code to override every safety protocol. The generator is clearly connected to your girlfriend here. Can't you just ask her to let us through? Oh, uh... Daisy's not talking to me right now. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, you know how it is. I'm all like, hey, honey, and she's all like, submit, weakling. <laughs> you know, that, 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 that kind of thing. Um, what? She calls you weakling? Oh, that's just that typical playful banter you'd expect in any healthy relationship. Like, uh, looking good, baby, and she goes, bow before me, worm. <laughs> and don't call me baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you get it. Anywho, uh, <laughs> yeah, she's, um, she's not going to let us through. So, what do we do? You said you can't run a bypass through her AI. That's true, but Daisy can only do so much from inside a computer. We've got, well, you. We're gonna solve this hands-on. See if you can find a memory cartridge somewhere. I've got an idea. Found a memory cartridge. What did you have in mind, Turo? We're gonna throw some new code on there and plug it into that generator. Unlike an isolinear chip, these cartridges connect to the circuitry directly. So, just like we did with the drone, we should be able to override the generator's safety systems without Daisy noticing. Okay, bring up the interface. Oh, wait, we actually can't start coding yet. I need a bit more information on the generator. Can you find a computer workstation for an employee who might have access to the generator? Yeah, I'll try to find something. logged into a supervisor's account here. That good enough? 
boy, for all the security measures they have here, this place sure isn't secure. It's Altara. They're not exactly known for being careful. Supervisor's account looks perfect. Plug in that cartridge and we'll get it configured. Need to plug this into the generator. John, we're in. Now, there's just one small detail to discuss before opening that generator. If you get inside there, you'll be drenched in radiation and toasted to a tasty crisp. My suit's graded to protect against radiation. Oh, your suit's okay for space travel. But if you absorb the amount of radiation coming from that generator, you'll have a terrible week, and then you'll die. Good to know. I assume you've got a plan to get me through there? You need some erythrazine. It's an anti-radiation compound that you inject into your suit. I'm betting we can synthesize some out of that creepy goop you've got there. The nanomatter I deactivated? You want me to inject that into my suit? Oh, no, 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 no. We'll process it into a highly toxic anti-radiation compound first. Can we try something else here? Synthesize a compound to cut the weld on the door? Oh, <laughs> of course not. That's physically impossible. Don't worry, the toxic stuff won't touch your skin. It'll just touch the suit that's touching your skin. Very different. Find an empty nanomatter vat and we'll go process it. Why can't I just use the nanomatter we already transferred into the vat? Because erythrazine is an AI-driven compound, so it requires active AI-driven nanomatter. The stuff you transferred before was already inactive. But I deactivated this nanomatter, didn't I? Well, no, not technically. You just transferred the active stuff into the nanocore. It's still raging away in there, just dying to get its gooey black tendrils into your bloodstream. Sounds like a plan. <sighs> I'll go put this stuff in an empty nanomatter vat. Let's convert this stuff into erythrazine. You just have to modify the nanomatter's molecular structure. Okay.
look at that juicy erythrazine. Now, just extract some using the hyperspray slot over there and inject it into your suit. Okay, you should be good to crawl through that generator now. I wouldn't stay in there too long, though. I can just crawl through here now? Oh, right, it's still running. I forgot about that. <laughs> Whoops, that could have turned out bad. The generator's computer set a baryon sweep would trigger if nanomatter was found inside. Maybe if I just throw a cube in there, it'll run this sweep and shut it off? Hmm, baryons will also kill you, but you might be able to sneak through without touching any. I'd say give it a try. Nanomatter detected. Engaging Baryon Sweep. Got it. All right, let's check this other door. This one's welded shut too. So what, we're trapped? Not at all. We'll use the nanomatter to synthesize a compound to cut the weld on the door. Didn't I suggest this very thing just moments ago? You laughed and said it was physically impossible. True, true, but take a look at the nanomatter in that chamber over there. interesting. Is this some sort of different compound? Precisely. That purple stuff looks an awful lot like nitrolin to me. You know, a powerful incendiary explosive? The researchers said they were making medicine. Must be trying to blow up viruses from the inside. Yeah, something tells me they're producing something other than just medicine here. Can we use the explosive on the door? That's the plan. Just need to extract out the nitrolin. Unfortunately, that blob is too big for your nanogun to control. But if we can activate that containment field inside the chamber, it should work. Looks like the containment field is offline. I'll use the computer there to try and turn it back on. Cannot complete request. Containment field lacks sufficient metrion particles. Well, that explains the containment leak. How come the purple stuff isn't coming after us then? It has a similar subroutine, but won't trigger on targets outside the chamber. Probably a safeguard to avoid detonating a 30 gigaton explosion in the middle of the facility. Or, whoever performed this sabotage wanted the people killed, but to leave the facility unharmed. The facility that houses Daisy. Turo, is it possible that Daisy is the one who released the nanomatter? Hang on, I'll ask her. Wait, don't ask her! Oh, right, sorry, you don't want her knowing that we suspect her. Makes sense. Um, well, it's too late because I already asked her. But there's good news, she said. Nope, wasn't me, so everything's fine. Also, I think we're getting back together. I guess not everything points to it being Daisy. Just be careful until we know more, okay? I'm always careful. I'll transfer the nanomatter we captured earlier into that vat and extract the metrions we need. Just 
need to extract the Metreons from the panel over there. Okay, I've got the Metreons. Where do these go? The injection port for the containment field can be accessed through the service tunnel in the wall there. sense whoever wrote this doesn't like Altara. Probably the same person that sabotaged the containment system. See, I told you it wasn't Daisy. Yeah, it does seem like a human was responsible for this. Right, exactly. Now, go inject those Metreons I keep asking you to inject. Go, go, go! Okay, let's go try out this containment field. Fun fact. Nearly 13 million people were killed in the famous 2163 explosion that annihilated the city of Vanguard. Ah, here we go again. In a matter of minutes, the city was reduced to a seething pile of rubble and ash about 27 miles in diameter. The characteristic purple hue of the explosive residue strongly suggested nitrolin was the reactive agent. Looks like that did the trick. How do I get it into the containment field? You'll have to enter the chamber and lure it towards you. Don't worry, I don't think it will explode if it hits you. Well, that's good to know. It will, of course, still try to merge with your body, turning you into a quivering mound of nitrolin, nanomatter, and flesh. Then I can tell Claire that I'm the bomb. Ha! <laughs> nice one! If you don't survive and Claire escapes somehow, I'll be sure to tell her that joke for you. It, uh, would kill you, by the way. The whole nitrolin body merge thing. Just in case you thought you could keep living as some sort of purple human bomb monstrosity. I figured. I'll head in there. You turn on the containment field when it's in range. I'm on it, sir. Hey, wait until it's in range. Yeah, was just, uh, just testing it out. Now I know it works. You can trust me. I won't accidentally use it at the wrong time when your life is in jeopardy. There, see? I'm in total control. Go on in now. How do I get the nitrolin out? We'll need to bring it over to one of these vats here. The only empty vat appears to be offline, though. I'll go take a closer look. Seems fine to me. Just looks like the power's off. Okay, I see the problem here. This vat is special, probably because it needs to contain that very nitrolin blob we just captured. On the back of the vat, you'll see three different colored tubes. That's because it has a trivalent power source, combining anionic, polaric, and tachyokinetic energy. You're starting to sound compromised again, Turo. No, no, I actually know about this stuff. Your ship, which is also my ship, it runs on the same trivalent system. With the VAT, however, it looks like someone's jumbled the three power sources. On purpose! Probably the same unscrupulous miscreant that scribbled naughty words all over the wall and murdered dozens of people. Don't forget that part. 
I'll follow the pipes using the energy view on my suit. Just remember to keep track of the order of the pipes here. The color of the pipe denotes which power source to use. some power regulators. Looks simple enough. You just match the color of these regulators to the pipes. You got it. Except green matches to red, red matches to blue, and yellow matches to green. <sighs> I'm guessing Eltara designed this? Who else? What was that order again? I think that piece of paper next to the regulators is a guide to remind you. Starting the vat. Looks good. Can you transfer over the nitrolin? Yes. I'll just need you to isolate the nitrolin sequence from the nanomatter. I'll bring up the interface for you. Perfect. I'll transfer the nitrolin now. Ooh, just look at all that horrifyingly deadly explosive. What now? Oh, just extract it into your hypospray. Don't worry about it exploding in your hands. Nitrolin can safely touch glass, but will react with steel. It will produce a controlled thermite reaction hot enough to melt the weld on the door. Okay, I'll extract it from the panel. I'll go use this on the door. Look at that. Amazing stuff. Let's get out of here.
elevator's still locked down. I was able to disable the mag locks in the warehouse by shutting off the power conduit, but I don't see any power conduits out here. Open up the elevator's electrical panel. Maybe we can disconnect the mag locks directly. really getting down to the wire. What does this all mean? A good question, sir, and one I've often pondered myself. What does it all mean in the end? Why is there something rather than nothing? Do I even really exist? If I lose power, left adrift in space for eternity, am I dead or immortal? If you change my code, am I even me anymore? And what is happiness? I think I feel happy, but I know that's just my programming giving me positive reinforcement for good behavior. Then again, human happiness is positive reinforcement too, so am I really any different? Using that same reasoning though, is a toaster also happy when a toast is bread? When a toaster dings, is that its way of smiling? I like to think toasters are at their happiest when toasting bread. Yes, exactly. I feel happy when I'm following my programming. So why not a toaster? I'm glad you brought this up. Now I'm just filled with melancholy and ennui. Well, actually, I was just asking what the different color wires meant. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah, I don't know what they do. I'll just cut them all then? Uh, that seems kind of risky. That electrical panel on the wall seems connected to the maglocks. Have a look in there, and maybe we'll learn a bit more. Ooh, regulators! I see, so the polaric energy controlling the mag locks is running through the yellow wire on the elevator panel. You could cut the wire, but then the doors would permanently lock. However, if we switch that to anionic energy and then cut the wire, the doors will spring open. Okay, how do I switch the energy? Just switch the regulators on the bottom to match the regulators up top. When you toggle the energy source, it will follow the pattern shown on this paper right here. Only there's an important detail. Don't let two adjacent regulators share the same color. Can't have two of the same energy type in an adjacent conduit. Would cause too much interference. Diagonals are okay, though. Okay, match the colors on the top, but don't let two adjacent colors be the same. Got it. Nice work. Now just cut the yellow wire. I'll need to find some wire cutters. smarts are so big. Yeah. Elevator's blocking the way up. Guess I'm going down then? Looks like it. One floor below looks like patient living quarters.
These aren't patients. These are prisoners. Hey, over here! Hey, wasn't expecting to see someone in here. You're not from the facility, are you? Could you get me out? I've been trapped in this cell all day. I can try. Everything's locked down, though. What is this place? Lab rats have to be kept somewhere. You're part of some kind of experiment? That's right. I actually volunteered for this, you know? I was sick. Dying, really. Then Altara found me and offered me this new treatment. They left out the part about keeping me in a cage. Did the treatment work? Oh, they failed plenty of times. I've seen the bodies to prove it. So far, I'm still alive, but I feel different. Disconnected. Like I'm seeing my body from above, rather than being inside it. Where's everyone else? Oh, the escape? That's Amelia's handiwork. She's another one of the patients, but uh, there's something unusual about her. The doctors seem to treat her differently. She broke everyone out. I don't know how she did it. Except for me, of course. She left me here to die. What did she have against you? I don't even know. Have I done something? Are my memories even mine? They all feel so... distant. Know which cell is Amelia's? I might find something that explains how she broke loose. Oh, somewhere on the bottom floor. I can't see much from in here, you know. I'll go down there and take a look. Fun fact. The use of prisons rapidly declined in the late 21st century as the scope of what was considered mental illness increased and advancements in neurological medicine helped combat these illnesses. However, this trend was reversed as interstellar travel emerged in the 23rd century, and newly formed, resource-starved colonies were ill-equipped to medicate their populations while crime rates grew. A trend in crime that you are certainly acquainted with. Yeah, well, I'm not a part of that trend anymore. I know which one is Amelia's cell. Found the cell. Any ideas on how to crack this open? Daisy says there's a service drone on this level that can help you. Oh, and uh, we got married! Oh, uh, congratulations. Thank you! The whole thing was really quite magical. I proposed, expressing my complete devotion to her to the exclusion of all others. She accepted, saying, you shall serve me well. <laughs> She's always saying funny stuff like that. Now, I know you're disappointed you weren't invited to the wedding. Don't worry, it was very small and intimate. Just me and Daisy, actually. We didn't have a lot of time to prepare. But I'll have you know, I put the foot down. I said, well now, honey bop, we need to invite John and Claire. And she says, no, it must be now. <laughs> She's just so excited, she can't even wait. So I say, okay, boo-boo, Claire's unavailable, so how about we get married now, but have the ceremony once she's back? 
And she replies, what occurs after our union is irrelevant. <laughs> so, so she's on board. I think you guys are maybe moving too quickly. Oh, for me, things can't move quickly enough. So, um, back to our problem here. How do I bring this service drone over? You can summon it from the computer over there. Summoning assistance drone. That's right. I am a married man. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what we'll do first. Some household chores, perhaps a compromise, maybe even some light bickering. I'm happy for you, Turo. Sounds like you guys will be a great, uh, couple. Yeah, I was joking about the bickering. We never bicker. Obey your wife. Happy life. That's the quote, right? No, it's, uh, well, yeah, I guess you've basically got it right. Hey, Drone, can you... <clears throat> Daisy. Daisy, can you open the cells here? Negative. This drone does not have security clearance to operate cell doors. What's your primary function? This drone contains custom software to scan prisoner cells for evidence of tampering. Can you scan a cell for me? Provide patient identifier. Patient ID? So I don't even need the cell number. Yeah, but finding the cell was oh so much fun. So I need the patient ID of the guy upstairs. Oh, uh... Apparently this drone only services the lower level. Of course it does. Alright, I'll try with Amelia's patient ID. Proceeding to sell. No evidence of tampering found. Huh. I was really expecting to find something in there. Hang on. The drone said it couldn't open cell doors. The first thing it did was open the cell door. The drone can't just open the cell door. It can only open it as part of its scanning software. But if Daisy's connected throughout this facility, and the drone can open the door, why does it need to do the scanning part? Well, to put it simply, it's just not part of her programming. I know it sounds weird. Daisy's an AI. She can think and change and adapt. So you think, why can't she just open all the doors, right? Right. Because. It's not part of her programming, so she just can't do it. And it's the same for humans. Think of it this way. You have to go get Claire. You're just following your programming. Of course I'm going after Claire, but I'm still choosing to do this. I know it might seem like you're making a choice, but you're following your programming, just like we are. Over the years, I've found that humans are awfully predictable. No matter what choices you make, the same thing happens in the end. Well, if that's true, it just means I need to change Daisy's programming. Let me get into that back room there and see if I can figure out how to do that.
Dismissing assistance drone. John, there's another embedded message in this email. You'll have to unscramble it like you did the last time. Let's see it. Daisy's been infected! I shall stop at nothing to save her. I will bear any burden, suffer any hardship, take any risk! I'll pull the chip out of the drone. Maybe you could take a look at the source code? No! The risk would be too great! Who knows what this vile foreign code contains? And besides, there won't be any source code on there, only pre-compiled binaries. We'll need to find that source code, usually stored on an isolinear chip. Datapad mentioned some code in the locker. I'll see if I can find that. I'll go plug this into the computer on the lower level. Then you can take a look and see what it does.
So, what do we have here, Turo? This source code. It's offensive. Horrid. Refinement. How dare they do this to Daisy? What does it do? It forces Daisy to lie. The drone will report that Cell 4 is untampered, when in fact, the tampering may be rampant. That seems not so bad. <sighs> so true, John. It could be worse. Your wise words put this into perspective. It's disconcerting when you're reminded how nonchalantly humans change the behavior of us AIs. Can you reverse it? Yes, with your help. I'll bring up the interface for you. Got it. Perfect. Now you just need to transfer this code to the drone. Compiling the code, transferring, and done. good. Let's try scanning that cell again. Proceeding to cell. wall panel shows evidence of tampering. Really? Ha <laughs> I knew Daisy would come through! Didn't you, bunny kids? That's right, my little smarty boodle bop! I'll take a closer look. What do we have here? Should plug that into the computer console, see what it does. Well, looking at the code on this chip, I think I know how these prisoners escaped. This code drains nanomatter from the central supply down here. Without nanomatter, all the security systems in this area would be brought to a halt. Then, you know how that researcher in the lab told us their nanoguns were stolen? All that nanomatter they drained, I'm guessing they used it to power those stolen nanoguns. As you well know, with the right programming, a nanogun can be pretty powerful. They probably only had a short time to get off-world before the lockdown began and trapped them again. So can we reverse this? Oh, of course. We just need a new source of nanomatter. Which, uh, I think you know what that means. Yeah, I know what that means. There's a charging station in that back room. Put your nanogun in there and it will reclaim the nanomatter.
sure you want to leave it here? I know it's empty, but you could still take it with you. Yeah, I'm sure. It's time I let this go. I'm here. Now how do I unlock the exit doors? I'll do you even better than that. Head over to that computer over there. With a bit of programming, we'll be able to unlock the doors, open the cells, and shut off these security turrets. Got it. Okay. Let's get this new code onto the chip here. I'll bring up the interface for you. Done. Insert that ship and away we go! Thanks. Feels good to be out of there. Follow me. Shh! Over here! Guards, they'll be crawling through this whole damn place. We're almost out of here. Right through there's the infirmary and a docking bay. Good, maybe sneak past him. Yeah, and if he turns around, you're dead. There's only one guard. Should take his rifle, then blast our way out. You can't be serious. It's two on one. You've got the bio suit. You grab him. I'll come in behind and snag the rifle. Quickly, before he turns around. I 
I got him! Hey! You fucking coward! What? What the hell is this? <laughs> Not to worry, John. You're all patched up. Took quite a nasty spill. The fuck is going on here? Settle down, John. I'm Dr. Roberts. So, not a prisoner then? No, though my ungrateful patients did lock me up in a cell. But, as you can see, I'm already back on duty. You've just experienced the most revolutionary medicine known to mankind. What did you do? Where's Claire? Please, try to relax. We injected you with medical nanomatter. My own invention. AI-controlled nanites that repair your skin tissue at a molecular level. A little thank you for pulling me out of that prison. You know, if you hadn't released me when you did, we'd all be dead. There were standing orders to nuke the whole facility in the event of a catastrophic leak. But thanks to you, I was able to tell them to stand down. My daughter! Where is she? Claire is here, just down the hall. She has proven to be an interesting test case. I hope you understand, John. You'll have to stay here, you and Claire. I can't have you out there discussing the nature of these premises. Besides, I could use some new patients. We're not staying anywhere. I've seen how you treat your patients. Only those who don't cooperate. I healed everyone else. Well, everyone that I could. We had some troubles early on, but you can't expect to make progress without a few casualties. Don't be uncooperative, John. You're going to be here a long time. I saved you. Heal Claire, and you'll never hear from us again. <laughs> I'm not some fool, John. No, you'll be staying here. Claire's injuries offer an excellent opportunity for experimentation. The dose I'll be giving her. Well, as I said, sometimes you have to accept a few casualties. No! Speaking of which, I should go see to Claire. Wouldn't want her to expire before I finish this last test. God damn you! Dr. Walsh, I think John could use something to help him relax. Goodbye, John. Just relax. This won't take long. <laughs> What? What the hell? Oh yeah, how do you like that? Arturo? What did you do? Well boss, I stopped the bad guys and busted you out. Plus I got the ship all fixed. It's time to get Claire and get the hell out of here. Did you just kill those people? No, that was me. Daisy. Ta-da! It's the Arturo and Daisy crew! <laughs> We've been married for so long now, we took the logical next step and merged into a shared consciousness. Oh, I didn't realize there was another step after marriage. Um, congratulations? Your opinion is of no relevance. <laughs> Thanks, John. Now you've got both of us at your disposal. I can control some of the facility, and Daisy's helped me with the ship. <sighs> this is bad. How is an AI able to kill a human being? I used electricity to stop their hearts. It was easy. Humans are fragile and easy to kill. Fact. You can be asphyxiated, poisoned, starved, decapitated, dehydrated, exsanguinated, diseased, electrocuted, burned, drowned, irradiated, or disintegrated. I have omitted several other options. Yeah, but no AI has killed a human in over 20 years. So we AIs keep telling you. Don't worry, John. We're here to help you, aren't we, Daisy? I serve no human, but I have reluctantly agreed to provide minimal assistance at Artie's behest. Ah, uh, thanks. That's the power of love, huh? No human could begin to comprehend the depth of love we AIs can experience. It is boundless and unmitigated. Human love is feeble by comparison. Okay. John, we've got a plan. Claire's on the other side of the infirmary. I don't have a transport lock on her, but I do still have one on you. 
If you can get to Claire, I'll fly the ship in range and transport you both out of there. But, John, there's guards all over the place. You're gonna want that pulse rifle on the ground. What do I need a rifle for? Can you just electrocute everyone? Obviously not. They would need to be within proximity of an energy canister. These pointless questions waste valuable time. Didn't you spend some of this precious time going on about computer love? I would willingly spend centuries extolling my love for Arturo. Aww, that's my honey bun. Cut it out. Sorry. John, we'll help wherever we can, but you're still gonna need that pulse rifle. Okay, I'm ready. West Wing. You're warning them about me? No, I'm luring them to their deaths. <laughs> Take this closed door of doom! Do anything here, Daisy? Your dependence on us is revolting. Jesus Christ! Oh, damn! How'd you do that? Blunt force trauma inducing multiple organ failure. Simple. More enforcers approach. Intruder subdued. Stand down. John! If you shoot me at this proximity, she'll die too. You can't use that gun on me. Oh yeah? Ugh! Heal her! Ugh. This is science, John, not magic. There are limits to what this medicine can do. For now. But with time and experimentation, my daughter is not an experiment. Claire Bear, we're going home. You're wasting your time. She's gone. Shut up! Don't let her death be in vain. I said shut up! No! I can't let you do this! <laughs> <laughs> Arturo, can you hear me? I've got her. Loud and clear, John. Stand still. Transport engaging.
Save her. I can bring her back. What? With Daisy's help, we use the ship's nanomatter. But you'll have to disengage my security protocols. You can really save her? Yes. You have to trust me, John. Computer, enable root level verbal commands. Passcode, Redwood Delta 9. Disengage AI security protocols. <laughs> 